What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you a really cool ClickFunnels feature. It's called a text opt-in. And what it does is basically allows you to add anyone to your email list on ClickFunnels or on your third-party autoresponder if someone texts their email to a certain number. So I'll show you exactly how it works using my phone here. I'll show you what the messages will look like, what the response times are, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so you can get an idea, but it's a really useful feature you can use so you don't always have to direct people you meet to your landing page. You can say, hey, here's my here's the number, text this code to this number, and boom, you're added to the list just like that. So let's go through this really quickly. So here's our experimental funnel we've been playing with. Uh, so this is what your layout should look like right now as of uh, November 10th, 2017. So when you go into settings, sorry, not settings, let's go into, uh, let's go back into steps, go into publishing. And at the bottom here, you should see this option called text opt-ins. All you have to do is click on this add text opt-in button. Here's the phone number that you're provided. They said, ClickFunnels said they're now uh, working on other phone numbers, but for now, this is the only phone number that's available, which is fine. Here you would enter the code. So this is the code that the users to whom you're, who you want to add to your email list. Uh, this is that code that they have to input in order to be added. So here, create whatever code you want. So if you're giving away a free ebook, say uh, free ebook is the code. All right, so it's only alphanumeric characters. And here, this is the response uh, that they will get after they enter this code. And again, I'm going to show you everything through my phone, but let's just go through this step by step. So here, the, the response would be something like here, like, uh, thank you, give us your email, and we'll send you the free copy. So as soon as they send the code, they're going to get this message. Then they're going to send their email, and then they'll be automatically added to the email list. Super cool. So let's just say we're going to do this, but obviously you can type in whatever you want to. But here I'm saying thank you, give us your email, and we'll send you a free copy. Whatever it is you're giving them for free or whatever it is you want them to subscribe to, you can say that here. So maybe thank you, give us your email, and we'll subscribe you to our list. Something like that. Whatever it is, you get the idea. So after you do that, let's click on Create Text Opt-in, and let's try it out. So here, you know what's ready. The code is actually, I put three E's by accident. So it's free book. Oh, sorry, no, free ebook. Okay, no, so 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 it is fine then. So let me just actually text this number right now. So here I'm on my phone. As you can see, I'm composing a message and I'm going to dial this number in. Whether you dial the one or not doesn't really matter. I tested it out. It works both ways, but you would want to verify with your service provider whether you're paying any additional fees or not. Uh, whether you dial the one or not. So I'm just going to dial 678, because that's the number here, uh, 5067543. That's the number right now. And I will input into this add text field. I'm just going to text free ebook, right? Because that's the code that you are giving them. So here, as you can see on my phone, I don't know if you can. Uh, that's the number at the top there, and here I typed in free ebook. Okay, uh, there. Okay, so I'm going to click send, and as soon as I click send, I should receive this reply. There it is. It says thank you. Right. Uh, give us your email, and we'll send you a free copy. So that's exactly what it says there. Sorry, it's kind of screwed up, but uh, <laughs> it is there. It says give us your email, and we'll send you a free copy. And then when I input my email. So let me, I'm just going to say asdf at gmail.com, fake email, okay? So I put in my fake email, asgf.com. And as you can see now, we'll give it one second. There you go. The reply came in automatically. It said, thanks, submission confirmed. And you are added to the email list. So, or the person that entered their email, they're automatically added to your email list. So if I close out of this one and I go into my, uh, I'm going to overview and back into contacts. That's what we're looking for. Go back into contacts. Over here, as you can see, ASDF less than a minute ago signed up at gmail.com. The cool thing about this is if you have a third party autoresponder tool such as GetResponse or Aweber, it should be added to those as well. So it does work with API. Now, a little disclaimer on that. I myself use GetResponse, so I know for a fact it works with GetResponse. If you're using MailChimp or Aweber, it may or may not work, but it should. 
because Git response works, okay? So I don't have those autoresponder programs. I don't use them, so I'm not 100% sure. But given that it works on Git response, which is also a third-party autoresponder software, it should work on everything else. So that's pretty cool. This cool feature I wanted to share with you because it really allows you to you know, save a lot of time, save a lot of hassle. If you meet people, you just give them the number, say, type in this code, and you'll be added to the list. You don't have to say, go to this website. From this website, put your email in. That first page is kind of irrelevant because you've already told them about the product. They already know what they're getting. So that first page is kind of extra that really they, it's, it's a hassle for them to do. So much easier to just text. So that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, for sure, leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as possible. And other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.